everyone welcome to episode number two where we are finally putting together the seagull checkmate and in this episode we're going to be doing the ailerons the flaps mounting all the servos and preparing for episode number three where we'll be installing the retracks so without any further ado let's head over to the bench and get to work To start things off, we are going to be using the Hitech D645 MW servos. I've said this before, this is my favorite modern standard servo. It's programmable, it's digital. This is what we're going to be using. And here are all the parts laid out, the ailerons, the flaps, the control horns, the servos, the servo pockets. We even got these custom three servo connectors we're going to be using. First time I've ever used these, we'll talk about those in a little bit. but. This is everything we're working with. And even a shot of that Dual Sky GA3500R. First things first, with the control horns, we need to sand uh, the portions that are going to be glued in, especially since they're painted. But even if they weren't painted, you would have to do this because you want to create some a rough surface for the epoxy to adhere to. Here's an option. If you wanted to kind of mask the area, you can use some blue painter's tape to mask around the slot. And that way, when you let the epoxy dry just a little bit, you can remove the tape and get a really nice looking bead of epoxy. We'll put these on and then let's mix up some epoxy. I'm using the 3M Scotch Weld uh, 420 Black, which I think looks really good with the blue and silver of the Checkmate. So we mix this up. We have a little toothpick and we try to work in the epoxy into the slot. Make sure it's covering uh, the front, the back and both sides. And then we'll go ahead and apply the epoxy to the control horn itself. We'll go ahead and insert it. And after a little bit, probably 20 minutes, I'll pull the tape off to get rid of that excess epoxy. That was the aileron, and here is the same thing with the flap. All right, time to mount the servos. We got our server pockets. Let's get out uh, some of our bits here, and let's start drilling. There's a lot of drilling to be done. Get the snap-on bits. And there's a few steps here. We're going to drill first, establish the threads with the servo screws and use some CA. We're just going to show you these right here. We're drilling the pilot holes. Now, I, I don't like using the supplied Phillips head servo screws that come with the high-tech servo, so I'm going to use the RTL. The number three 5 8 servo screw uh, works pretty well for this application, but as always, you want to check that the servo screw you're using is long enough, so take a second to make sure that it's long enough and it's going to dig into the entire surface. For servos, I like using the number three servo screws and we'll just go ahead and work all of these in to establish those threads. And when we're done, yep, we're gonna take them all out again. 
we'll take all those out, get some super thin CA glue and just really harden those surfaces and really harden those mount points. That glue is dried and I always like using these servo washers. The ones I show here are from Seacraft. They're nice and aluminum. Uh, they just kind of help seat the servo a little bit nicer. So you can see how those go on right here. Now, always after you apply CA to these servo screw holes, it's going to be a little bit tougher this first time back in, but this is the final product, what it's going to look like. And while we have these out here, I always like to use a poker from behind to establish these holes so we can drill and mount these servo pockets into the wing. You'll see when I turn it over, now we see exactly where we're going to have to drill. Interesting thing here, three of these are the same and one is different, and that's because the one that's different, the ailerons are actually opposite, but both flaps are oriented the same in efforts so that you can drive the flaps off of one channel. So just be aware, there's nothing wrong. Um, there is three of the same, one is different, and that one different one is the opposite aileron. All right, so time to mount the servo pocket. We're going to fish with an extension, fish it through, sit it down and we're going to do the same thing with the servos. We're going to establish the pilot holes, run screws in, pull them out. We're going to use some super thin CA to establish those threads. And here I'm going to be using the RTL fasteners, the number twos, the three eights, the button heads. Uh, these use a little bit smaller driver, but I think these look a little bit better, especially on an external surface. And here we are applying that super thin CA after we've established the threads in these small mounting plates. Mounting the flap, I found I have these little plastic spacers from like fishing tackle, tackle boxes that I like to just kind of use here to keep the flap centered. And now we are going to tape this down to just secure it a little bit better before we actually mount the hinges for the flaps. So we have the flap hinges and per the book, the long end of the hinge goes uh, on the flap itself. So we have a lot of drilling to do here. In fact, I didn't want to accidentally drew, drill all the way through the wing. So I got the nice fast drill out and took my time to drill these holes. But now, again, we're going to go back to RTL fasteners. We're going to use number two, seven sixteenths for these. And there's a lot of them, so I don't mind using the number twos. But just take your time. I do the wing side first, and then one in each of the flaps, and then fill in the rest of the holes. So we'll just see how this goes here. I've drilled the three holes in the flap and I'm just kind of screwing in the last uh, of the first screws on the flap. And now we can take off the tape and see, actuate the flap. And we'll go ahead and fill in the other holes on the flap hinges and we should be good. Mounting the flap servo pocket is pretty much the same thing. We're gonna be using those butt head screws again drill the pilot holes, establish the threads, pull out the screws, use some CA, and we got these in here just fine. All right, time to do the hinges. So these are wide hinges, and what I do is I will fold each of these in half, and that little crease tells me where to put the pin so we can keep these centered in the pocket. So you take the servo, the, the pin, and you can punch through right on the crease. That way it keeps, the pin will keep centered when you put both surfaces on. And in fact, since these CA hinges are so wide, I found out that I really did need to use a second pin just to keep them straight. And you'll see that here in the next shot.
There you can see both pins and the CA hinges, and we can just uh, attach, take your time, attach the aileron. And then when we get it right where we like it, we can start taking out the pins and really then pushing in the aileron flush to get that um, the desired space you want there. And now you can finally fit it in flush. And then after you fit it in flush, kind of maneuver, flex the aileron to make sure you're getting the throw that you want before you go ahead and, and get the glue. And again, take some super thin CA and I do one drop on each side of that center line on the top and bottom. So it's actually four small drops on each uh, CA hinge. We should be good to go. All right, so we've mounted the flaps, we've mounted the ailerons, we've mounted the servos, and next episode, we are going to be installing the retracts. So everyone, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in a few days for episode number three.